hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to solve nobdec 2021 core mathematics paper 2 question 1 here we have two questions that is question 1a and then 1b question 1a has to do with sequence and series and then question 1b has to do with percentages now let's solve question 1a a sequence of numbers is defined by a subscript n plus 1 equals 2 times a subscript n minus 3 where n is greater or equal to 1 if a subscript 1 is equal to 5 find a subscript 2 a subscript 3 and then a subscript 4 so this is the question let's try to solve this question a sequence of numbers is defined by a subscript n plus 1 is equal to 2 times a subscript n minus 3 where n is greater or equal to 1. Now we are told that if a subscript 1 is equal to 5, then we are going to find a subscript 2, a subscript 3, a subscript 4. So to find a subscript 2, we are going to assume that n is equal to 1. And then the condition given is n is greater or equal to 1. So n can be 1. So for n equals 1, we are going to substitute the value of n into this equation. So this becomes a subscript 1 plus 1, which is equal to a subscript 2. Now we have a subscript 2 equals 2 times a subscript n minus 3. Now because n is equal to 1, then this becomes 2 times a subscript 1 minus 3. And then from the question, we are told that a subscript 1 is equal to 5. So we just replace a subscript 1 with 5. So this becomes 2 times 5 minus 3 2 times 5 is 10 so 10 minus 3 and then we have a subscript 2 to be equal to 7 so that is the value of a subscript 2 now let's find the value of a subscript 3 so to find the value of a subscript 3 then we say that n should be equal to 2 so still from this equation a subscript 2 plus 1 is equal to a subscript 3 and that is equal to 2 times a subscript 2 minus 3 a subscript 2 is 7 so 2 times 7 minus 3 2 times 7 is 14 minus 3 and then we have our answer to be 11 therefore a subscript 3 is equal to 11 now let's find the value of a subscript 4 so that is when n is equal to 3 so from the formula or better still the sequence we have a subscript 3 plus 1 equals a subscript 4 and that is equal to 2 times a subscript 3 minus 3 a subscript 3 is 11 so we have 2 times 11 minus 3 2 times 11 is 22 minus 3 is 19 therefore a subscript 4 is equal to 19 a subscript 2 is 7 a subscript 3 is 11 and a subscript 4 is equal to 19 now let's solve for b okay so for b a student had an amount of p ghana cds at the beginning of a semester he spent one third of the amount on books and three fifths of the remainder on snacks if 400 ghana cds was left at the end of the semester find the value of p so this is a very simple question let's try to solve this question so from the question, 
the amount the students had at the beginning of the semester at the beginning of the semester is p ghana cities so amount at the beginning of the semester was p ghana cities he spent one third of the amount on books so amount spent on books is one third of the total amount which is p so we have one over three times p ghana cities so that is p over three ghana cities now he spent three-fifths of the remainder on snacks so first of all let's find the remainder after spending one third of the total amount on books so we say that the remaining amount the remaining amount is basically the total amount minus the amount he spent on books so that is p minus p over 3 now if you consider p to be 1 then 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 so this is equal to 2 over 3 p therefore the amount remaining after the student spent one third of the total amount on books is 2 over 3 p ghana cities so the student spent three-fifths of the remainder on snacks so for the amount spent on snacks amount spent on snacks that is going to be three-fifths of the remainder that is 2 over 3 p so times 2 over 3 p so 3 cancels out 3 we are left with 2 over 5 so the amount he spent on snacks is 2 over 5 p now if 400 ghana cities was left at the end of the semester find the value of p so basically after spending one third of the total amount on books the amount left or the remaining amount was 2 over 3 p ghana cities and the student spent three-fifths of the remaining amount on snacks which means that the amount spent on snacks is 2 over 5 p now we need to find the remaining amount after spending 2 over 5 p on snacks so that is the remainder so basically the remainder is the remaining amount that is 2 over 3 p minus the amount the student spent on snacks that is 2 over 5 p now if we have 2 over 3 p minus 2 over 5 p the lcm between 3 and 5 is 15 15 divided by 3 is 5 5 times 2 is 10 so we have 10 p 15 divided by 5 is 3 3 times 2 is 6 so 6 p 10 p minus 6 p is 4 p so we have 4 p over 15 so the remainder is 4 p over 15 so this fraction of p is the total amount that was left at the end of the semester so we are going to equate this amount of money to 4 p over 15 so the total amount of money left at the end of the semester was 400 ghana cities therefore we have 400 equals 4 over 15 p here we can cross multiply so we have 15 times 400 
equals 4p we divide through by 4 because we want to find the value of p 4 goes here once 4 goes here 100 times therefore we have p equals 15 times 100 and this is equal to 1500 therefore the value of p is equal to 1500 Ghana cities